to booktube welcome to my channel it's me the nature pages and today i have with me two very special guests do you want to introduce yourself and say maybe like your favorite genre yes i am ashley and my favorite genre is fantasy i'm stephanie and i like romance right now <laughs> i was very into young adult and now i'm like a little bit more into new adult probably gonna go back. <laughs> Today we're gonna be doing Guess That Book Plot, which if you don't know what the game is, it's where you only get to see the title and the cover of a book, and based on that you have to guess what the book is about. And then whoever ha has the book and knows what it's about, at the end you award a point to someone. So we're gonna keep track who's winning. <laughs> Must you. <laughs> at the end, and whoever wins at the end wins pride. <laughs> Yes. Pride. Yes. Yes. That's, that's all Pride we're going right. for. Right. Yes. Right. Do you want to go first? I'll go first. Alright, let's start with this one. This one is Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. So, okay, just based off the cover, it looks very mysterious. I'm seeing purple. It's making <laughs> me think romance. So, like, I feel like there's definitely romance in this book, but... I also feel like considering the title is called Unearthly, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the idea that there are some like supernatural beings in this book. Right? <laughs> so supernatural beings, purple. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's about a girl who discovers that she has earth powers and there is a love triangle and one of them dies at the end. Okay, cool. Well, what's the book actually about? Uh, it's about a girl who is part angel. Oh, okay. And okay. she uh, has to learn uh, her purpose. It's called like the purpose, so it's like literally her purpose for being on Earth. Um, and it follows that journey. And yes, there is a love triangle. <laughs> yes, we've been. Uh, yes, it's supernatural. <laughs> and there is a romance. Uh, it's a it's a trilogy. So there are three books, and. Oh, I don't know. You guys are really Which close. close. Allie? Spoiler, no one dies in the end. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. Okay. Um, um, Mine was very broad, though. And Allie actually tried broad. to, like, Allie actually tried to, like, hone in on what, like, it was. I was just like, <laughs> I was like, monsters <laughs> and romance. I was like, I was, like purple. I was like, purple. yes. Purple. Literally has almost nothing to do. The only thing that you can see is there's, like, a feather. So that's oh. how you would know that it's oh. everything else. It's Darn just it. weird. And um, the mountains and the forest, that has to do with her purpose because she, like, sees a vision of okay. her purpose, which makes her move from California to Wyoming. Okay. And that's when the whole story starts. Her moving there and smelling a fire and having to figure out what's going on, even though she was dreaming and she, okay. there was no fire. Which one of us gets the point? Um, I'd have to say Ashley does. Oh. <laughs> All right. <My> <laughs> it's Ashley. So next one is... A Thousand Perfect Notes by C.G. Drews. I know this is really big on Bookstagram, so a lot of you probably know what it's about. So, the, t the cover has um, a butterfly, a butterfly red butterfly. It's A Thousand Perfect Notes, and it says when passion turns to obsession. I think, because it says when passion turns to obsession, it's an issue with people turning into an obsessive person. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, that, like, that, that whole, like, kind of, like, romance thing. Yeah, like, no. Where, like, the guy kind of gets a little obsessive. Yeah, we're thinking, like, And then like, it's just, like, yeah. it, like, turns into, like, horror. Oh, okay. really? <laughs> I don't know. Really? You know, red butterfly. Exactly. Blood. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Blood butterfly. <laughs> exactly. Blood butterfly. Yeah. All right. I was, I was, like, kind of thinking the same thing. Like, I'm getting those, like, Edward Cullen, like, <laughs> I am far too obsessed with you for this to be societally normal. Normal. <laughs> but no, like even though it's a butterfly, it's definitely reminding me of blood. So <laughs> yeah. I I could like, see, and it's red. Yeah, I could like see this being like a vampire novel okay. novel. Okay. Like but then a thousand perfect notes. Like I'm trying to like figure out like what the that note title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know, maybe it's just like a Maybe it has to do with music and it's oh. like notes and then it's like the passion for the music turns into obsession. Yeah. The passion for the music. Cause it's okay, so what's your final answer? I don't know. <laughs> I'll go with the blood and then I'll go with the music. And you and I guess and you can go with the romance too oh, because okay. you said it yeah, first. I did. Alright, so this book is about this boy named Beck who is a pianist. And oh yeah you <laughs> and lives with his uh, abusive mother 
who makes him play. And so, and she's obsessed with making him wow. the best. Yeah, that's no. awesome. And along the way, it's kind of like a friend romance. Like, they, he mm-hmm. becomes friends with this girl who mm-hmm. kind of, like, shows him, like, you don't have to be locked up in this house. That's, that's awesome. awesome. That's just happening <laughs> for the music part. Yeah. And literally, it's just a butterfly. <laughs> it's just a pink butterfly. There's, like, no, no correlation. No blood. I mean, there, it's mentioned briefly in the book. That, oh, like, okay. the piano notes are, like, butterflies flying off the piano. That's really cute. <laughs> so, not blood. Not blood. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The next book that we're going to be guessing is a book called Esperanza Rising. So, what do you guys think, according to this cover? I love that cover, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. It's pretty. It reminds me of Belle. It is a country... I was about to say, it's a country beauty in the beast for yeah, time. <laughs> It's a farm girl country beauty and the beast. I mean yellow and she's holding roses? Yeah. Come on. Uh, <laughs> and like Halloween was like yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. So it's very like, fitting. Very fitting. There's like there's like fields and country. Yes. I have no idea. Yeah, it's kind of a farm hard girl look. beauty and the beast. <laughs> That's I love it. With. I love I it. I am going with it. That <laughs> Farm Girl Beauty and the Beast for Tell. I think it's I like. I don't want anything else. <laughs> kind of like. And not she has like wind a, powers. She's flying. Not like a co- like a coming of age story, but like something about like coming into herself. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be like middle school coming of age kind of thing. No, yeah. It's like learning to be herself. Okay. Because it's like she's rising. She's like coming into herself. Yeah, no, I can definitely see that. What yeah. is the plot actually? Okay, so the plot is about a young girl in Mexico who I was gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to. <laughs> she actually it's like just to sum it up, she goes through a huge process to migrate to America and that's oh. the that's the happy ending she gets to America with her mother and they go spoilers. Li- yeah, and they live out their <laughs> life and I actually have like a like something to tell you guys. So my cousin actually wrote that book. Really? No, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Is so cool. My cousin That's wrote that so book, cool. and Esperanza is my great great grandma. So oh, cool. yeah. <laughs> anyone? Anyone watching? <laughs> like, yeah, go like, get yeah. it. I'm gonna go buy that. Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. so awesome. <laughs> okay. So thank you. Yeah. So who gets the point? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with Beating the Beast. (laughs) (laughs) Or like coming of age, rising. As much as I like loved Farm Girl Beating the Beast, like my entire heart, I definitely probably have to go with Stephanie. More on par because Esperanza definitely just really found herself in the book. See? So you two, right? There we go. Yeah. Two, one, zero. I'm going to choose um, this one. So this one's called Yesterday's Stardust by Me- Becky Melby. Yesterday's yes. Stardust. Yesterday's Stardust. This is the story of um, a girl who runs in a star naming company <laughs> <laughs> and also a cafe. You can walk in and yeah, buy coffee like and <laughs> walk in, buy coffee, and also have a star named after you. And along the way, she falls in love with an astronaut. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that that had to be spot on. <laughs> like, there's no. That's way exactly it the plot. Yeah. Yesterday's Stardust. So, honestly, like this this book cover is a little bit hard to tell. It really is. But mm-hmm. I'm guessing that because this lady right here, she looks a lot to me like she's like a psychic or like a witch of some sort. Just like. It's giving me, like, the idea that, like, maybe this girl ran into, like, some sort of psychic and yesterday Stardust is her adventures after she, like, ran into her, you know? (laughs) So we got witches and adventures (laughs) and astronaut naming (laughs) servants. Okay. (laughs) This book is about a journalist and, (laughs) and, um, the, the, like, the... Tag, I guess you would say, is two stories decades apart converge on a secret. Um, and so it's about this um, journalist, this one, her name is Danny, and she eventually ends up uh, meeting this guy named Nikki. He runs this Italian restaurant in this not the best part of town, so he's very like into like trying to make sure that she stays away and stops writing the story. Um, and then this is the girl, uh, one of the characters that is part of the history and so it's all about her um just because because she finds this journal and then she wants to find out more about it and write about it and it's really cool (laughs) i really liked it yeah so it's really 
cool. So who gets the point? Which is um, your astronaut? I think you do because you did say Yay. you did say like you know the restaurant and she goes yeah. to the restaurant and it is a romance. There is part Yay. of a romance. Okay, I get uh, a point. Yeah. Finally. So. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Ke Bridget Kemmerer. Zombies. I'm gonna say <laughs> Fae Fairies. F F A E instead of F A I. Magic witchcraft, you know, that whole thing. New adults. Can you be a little more specific with magic or witchcraft? Uh, um, I don't like, know. Like, what's the plot? Okay. I see thorns and I see curse and I immediately think of Sleeping <laughs> Beauty. Uh, <laughs> so I'm all like... Maleficent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that kind of, like, magic. So Sleeping, be sleeping, sleeping Beauty. Beauty kind of like a... Yeah, Sleeping Beauty. A fairy beauty. Sleeping Beauty retelling. Yes. Okay. I mean, there's fairies in Sleeping Beauty. Fair. So I definitely think that this book has romance too. Sometimes you can just look at a book and be like, that guy, that's got some love got in some it. Love. Oh shoot, it has what the, what the plot is about right there. So. Oh, 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 I will look at that. that. Uh, Stephanie Garber, thanks for giving it away. I feel like it has to do with like um, a supernatural like monster, but there's a romance in there, and like the curse doesn't allow them to be with the person that they love because they are too dangerous or something like huh. that, you know? So like, kind of like a Beauty and the Beast recently. Like, <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I hear totally Beauty and the Beast. No. Beast recently. Like, <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I hear totally Beauty and the Beast. No. I hear monster and you can't be when they're in, like, dangerous. It's a winning plot line. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! I was, just, I was <laughs> annihilated. I was just <laughs> annihilated. <laughs> monster and they can't be together which is exactly the storyline but she actually said the words fairy tale retelling <laughs> oh yeah. my god i'm <laughs> really torn are you a wizard I the yeah i, I you was got, more focused i was got, more focused on sleeping beauty yeah you got the the whole oh, monster yeah. they can't be together yeah it's Woo, it's, a awesome. it's a magical fairy it's like ha she's from new york and oh it is a re <laughs> it literally so says intense Oh, the original retelling of Beauty and the Beast. That's kind of cool. So <laughs> she's, yeah, she's yeah. from New York, and her, her and her brother are in trouble. Her mom's dying, and they need money because, like, this mafia is after them. And she accidentally gets sucked into their world that's, like, kind of running adjacently cool. with New York. I like that. But it's Beauty and the Beast. That's cool. It's really Reminds cool. And like... actually, this is the sweetest present I've ever gotten. Aww. My friend sent it to me. With sticky notes, she annotated the whole thing. So like, it's her little reactions so inside the book. That is, <laughs> that is adorable. It's one of my favorite presents I've ever gotten. Do All you right. have any others? I really don't. All the books that I've read, I looked through Allie's thing, and Allie had read them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess it's my turn since you don't yeah, have a book. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. It's um, Allie's read all the books I've read. <laughs> so we're gonna do a series because the last one I did was a standalone. Called Wicked Lovely by mm. Melissa Marr. Ooh, I know that name. Last time I got I haven't read the whole series. The Angel Feather. So this time I'm really studying it. This is about a there is a um, new disease coming from Ooh. from a flower and it's blue and the pollen of the flower, the flower is spreading the disease and so that's how it spreads and so they're trying to stop it and she has earth powers. Um, and she is the only one who can stop it. Okay. Yeah. That is, like, I really enjoy the creativeness <laughs> of, like, that, I guess. <laughs> like, I would read that book. <laughs> I would, like, Time to write it. Right. Someone get on that. <laughs> Um, if that isn't what it's yeah, about. Yeah, that's literally what it's about. <laughs> that's exactly. By your reaction, I'm guessing it's not. <laughs> okay, so, blue. I'm seeing blue. I feel like she, like, I definitely think she's, like, some sort of, like, druid. Ooh. Just, like, okay. like, good point. earthly woman. Other than that, like, I like the font. It makes me think of, like, Renaissance. Mm -hmm. So, like, I can imagine it being a fantasy book. It's, like, give me that vibe. Wicked lovely. Maybe she's like, I feel like this is like a individualistic book. Like I feel like this is really focused on the main character and her growth. So growth, renaissance, druid. Yes. Awesome. So this book <laughs> is about, I think it's Aislinn. Is, I think that's how you say it. A-I-S-L-I-N-N. -N. Yeah. I think it's Aislinn. And then uh, she can see fairies. Oh. And, um, oh, and she's not supposed to let anybody know that she can see them because they're like, they, they have like, 
glamour. Oh, they have oh, glamour. Gotcha, That's gotcha. the word. They have glamour, and so like she's not supposed to show that she sees them. She kind of lets on that she can see them. Yeah, and, good job. And um, so she has to deal with the fact that now this Fay King is upset that she can see them. And oh. uh, there is a romance okay. involved in that. Not the typical romance. Okay. So it's like, neither party truly likes each other. Really. Oh, like, okay, okay. They, they do like each other, but like not in that way. They're just like acquaintances, and okay. they're they, they tolerate each other. I should okay. say tol okay. I don't even know if they like truly like like each other. The um, cruel prince, anyone? Yeah. <laughs> Which it's one of cool. us gets the point? <laughs> um. Magical disease and carried no, by flowers. No, sorry. No. <laughs> Druid is closest to fairy. And it's so not to do with, it's not to do with magic. That's she fair. talked about the magic that's and the fair. earthly magic. And there is glamour involved in magic, but it's uh, a high school girl who is like trying to like figure out what she can mm -hmm. do about why she sees fairies. That's so, yeah, cool. I mean, we all have that problem. Oh, no, we totally I totally all see it. We see it. You guys don't see that giant fairy uh, on the street every day. No, oh, right shoot. The <laughs> so next up we have Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. And here's the title, the cover. This is like a different cover than the ones we've seen. Yes. <laughs> okay, I say contemporary. I say it looks totally and this contemporary. One, because it looks totally contemporary, you have to get specific with what the plot's about. Well, it shows a girl and a guy across from each other. <laughs> Maybe it's like one of those like internet like anonymous things where they like truly don't really know each other and it's like all online. Like they're like more specific than that. Morning. That's the, the we we see the word tweet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Twitter. Yeah. So get more specific because we you both know it's about Twitter. I don't know. What's the plot? All right. So I'm thinking that this girl. I'm thinking there's like a her name is. I'm gonna say her name is Kaylee. Okay, if, if you're right, then you automatically get that. <laughs> I'm gonna go, like, this is like a subtweeting story. Like, the girl's just, like, kind of having, like, a rough time, and this guy's just, like, seeing her tweets. And, like, as she's tweeting, the girl's just, or the, the guy's just, like, fall, falling in love with her. Um, because of the things that she's saying, he gets to know her really well over this Twitter app. And then he direct messages her. <laughs> like what we all want. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Haley and Eric are homebodies. And they, um, don't have social lives because they're homebodies. And they communicate through the world with social media and everything online and they meet and fall in love through online. I'm gonna have to give the point to Ashley because oh, darn. <laughs> this book is about this girl who there's two opposed you know like how like Wendy's and McDonald's are like they're they go yes. at each other on Twitter. So this is about there's a girl's mom runs this huge company. The guy's parents run this little pop and shop store um oh, at in New I York, love pop and, and they get into a massive <laughs> they get into a massive <laughs> Twitter war and it goes viral. I love that. And so they are both as the kids, they are fighting the Twitter war. Wow. And they also go to school with each other. What so, a new age dang. book. I know, right? yeah. <laughs> oh, it hasn't come out yet? No. Aww. This book comes Darn out it. this book comes <laughs> out January twenty first, twenty twenty. By Emma Lord. So okay, cool. I love that. I yeah. want to read it. So you get the point. For it that. sounds. Woo, like <laughs> guys! Good. I'm racking up the points. <laughs> it's two one three. Yay! Two one three. The next book is called the fifth fifth sacred thing, and it's by Starhawk. The fifth sacred thing is it's a community like the Giver, where they are trying to fix the apocalypse um, with farming, and. One of them is like, no, I don't want to be a farmer anymore. I want to explore. <laughs> and so she leaves to go be an explorer instead of a farmer. I think she's an adventurer. And because, you know, she's standing on the rock with her stick and she's all like, I'm the king of the world. Because <laughs> she's a girl. But I see like, um, this This reminds me of Lion King. Okay. Like the, 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 oh, yeah. Seven, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of the Lion King because it has like, the outline of the thingy, of the trees, mm. the thingy, it's the a thingy, thingies. it's a thingy. Them thingies. Um, sunrise. Oh, or maybe sunrise. it's a sunset. I don't know, it looks like a sunset to me because sunsets are prettier, but whatever. Um, fact. It is a fact that sunsets are prettier. We will 
Okay. Allie's like so like offended <laughs> by every word that is coming out of your mouth <laughs> right now, Stephanie. Like anyway, <laughs> she oh. is an adventurer <laughs> and she is um going through this African jungle. Um and desert and everywhere. She's a what are those people that are like archaeologists? <laughs> she's just like helping people along the way. Like she's like not actually doing it. Oh. But she's like really interested in she, people's she's lives. A good Samaritan. And she's an adventurer. So <laughs> <laughs> honestly, the title cover is like so hard for you guys because it really does not encompass like much of the plot. Even more like in this book. We didn't even talk about how like the title. We didn't oh yeah, the <laughs> yeah. cipher thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was the fifth village that she went to that uh, ended up being very mine sacred is and the, it was great. The fifth community <laughs> she goes to See, in this giver like I, that community. That is what I said. No, I'm going off a different way. Okay. Is the one sure. that she stays at and decides, you know what, farming's for me after all. <laughs> Still super off. <laughs> First of all, I'm gonna give the point to Allie because uh, she, no. she literally only said like one thing that did go no. along with the book, and it was that. <laughs> and I said nothing. Yeah, it was, I liked what you said. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but it's it just, just wrong. <laughs> Thanks. It's set in a post apocalyptic oh. world, and that's what you said. And okay. the funny thing is about this one is that the post apocalyptic world is only in 2048 because this was written in like the 1900s or something like that. Let it be known the apocalypse is nigh. <laughs> yeah. It was apocalypse to the climate disaster. And basically, it splits into two sides. There's one side that just wants to conserve and live a peaceful life, and then there's another side that believes in militarization and expanding. Oh, no. hmm. But here's the thing, in this book, there are like a bunch of magic elements, so the people in this book are just like much more in tune with their psychic powers and like energies and magic and stuff like that. And it actually revolves around the perspectives of three different characters, which okay. is why it was like so hard for What's you guys. What's sacred because, thing? So there's... There's one person on the cover. How are I know, the, the title really has nothing to do with it, but there's five different elements. There's water, earth, uh, air, fire, oh. and then the soul and the spirit. And okay. so, yeah, and so mm. it just has to do with like them trying to figure We're everything so out. Off. This war, so yeah, it, it goes, it gets crazy, man. Oh, <laughs> like, so our next book is called Dragon Slippers by Jessica Day George. First of all, for me, it looks like an older book. I know that that's not really mm -hmm. going to help with the plot, but it has that well, general, I mean, I it definitely looks grade. like that old middle grade. Yeah. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's around 1998. Alex guesses the exact date. <laughs> I like, don't know. Oh, We're going to find this like, out. There is a um, revolution in happening in this land, and they figured out if you wear slippers made of dragon skin on your feet, it will give you the ability to fly. And so they are having a dragon extinction on oh. their hands. And this girl finds a dragon and she's trying to protect the dragon from being killed and being made into a slipper. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> a dragon made into a slipper. What? <laughs> goes on skin. inside her mind. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm definitely going to guess that the girl and the dragon become best friends. Like, it's just obvious from the title, but then the, the the question here is what is the plot? I'm gonna say that they live in a world where they don't know that dragons are ex exist, and she, maybe the dragon possibly could be like an imaginary friend, <laughs> um, but either way, like the fact that they meet is a secret, but they get found out, and the people get angry and try and kill the dragon. Mm -hmm. Um, but somehow the slippers are sentimental to the girl because they have some sort of relation to the dragon. So, like, she in some way channels the slippers to figure out her problem. I'm gonna add to mine that she's a princess. Okay. I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> this book is about a girl named Creel. Her name is, like, Creelisil Colburn or something like that. It literally starts off with her aunt feeding her to a dragon. Um, oh, and sacrificing her because because <laughs> her aunt wants um, the Lord Sun, so like the heir to the Lord of the land, like this one little yeah. village, uh, to rescue her, like, and then take Creel and then her entire family, including the aunt and everything, to go and live in like their oh ma mansion. Oh, Very <laughs> That's so selfish. dark. And, Middle grade. And then yeah. it totally didn't happen, right? Because like Creel is like, screw this. <laughs> and so instead, she's just like, makes a deal with the dragon, 
and gets dragon slippers made out of dragon skin. Oh! What goes on in my mind? It's awesome. There's a little tiny bit of romance, but it's a lot less romance. It's middle grade. Yeah. You totally get the point. Yeah! I mean, you like hit it on the mark the second you said dragon slippers. Yeah. I was like... Yes, this one is Strange to Dream Robert by Lady Taylor. Almost everyone on BookTube knows this, so everyone's gonna, oh. be, everyone's gonna be cracking up. So get, <laughs> that as, we haven't get as specific as you can because that okay. makes it so much more funny. Okay. I say steampunk because, like, steampunk. It looks. Okay. I don't know, steampunk. Alright. First of all, this is giving me midnight vibes. I'm feeling more in touch with the dark side of this book. <laughs> I, okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm also getting horror vibes because every time I see a Both. butterfly <laughs> turned the other way around, it gives me that vibe of like, just like, a butterfly. or a moth, either. I don't know what it is. Wh it's whatever like this creature is. is. It's a moth. It's a moth. Oh. Okay, if whenever I see like moth. something like that, like, turned around, it gives me like, that should be over someone's mouth. And then I'm thinking of like random horror movie titles I've seen. But then Strange the Dreamer. So I definitely think that like magic has to deal with Yes! Like Doctor Strange's weird shit. Yeah. Magic. Here is my synopsis. <laughs> I, I think that there is a boy. <laughs> his name, or I don't know what his name is. We're not going <laughs> to guess. But um, I think that he can like control his dreams. And um... <gasps> That it's, would be cool. Yeah, they're going to other people's dreams, or he can impact the world through his dreams. And but these dreams, like they take on a horror aspect. That's what. Okay, that's kind of like my idea that I'm okay. getting. I'm staking with steampunk Doctor Strange, Strange. <laughs> with with like magic, and I'm going to say because it has Dreamer and Strange, it's going to be. A steampunk do Doctor Strange who manipulates people's dreams. I'm gonna have to go with Ashley. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> His name is Laszlo Strange. Doctor oh. Strange! I'm telling you. Strange so is funny. actually a li junior librarian in a different city. Oh. And there's this city that everyone forgot about. Um, they can't remember the, the title, the, mm -hmm. uh, the title, the name of the city. Um, but he remembers that there was something. So he finally gets on a chance to go adventure. Like, he studies it really bit hard. And there, once there, he falls in love with a girl who can control people and manipulate people's dreams oh. through moths. They <laughs> through you moths. Do moths. You just said when there's upside down, you think of them over their mouth. Yeah, she can control them when they land on them. Dude, that is insane! That you like immediately so, thought of that. Oh, and so he falls awesome. in love with her because he she keeps coming to him in her in his dreams. Oh, so oh it. my gosh, that's really. And there's cute. a lot more. And you've never read. This. I promise, I've never read. This. There's a I've lot never more it. stuff no. that goes down. I kind of want to read. That. It's I know really right. that's really good. <laughs> I wrote my entire AP Honors essay, best-selling uh, um, uh, author essay on this one. Wow, so that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. So, so like I'm it's three, five, two. Yeah. I'm, I'm just in last. <laughs> so that was guess that book plot. I Woo! obviously am not good at this, <laughs> but I, I try. Like, you're the one who's like the book. I know. I know yeah. And she's the one that got the no. lowest. <laughs> I never claimed I'm good at this. <laughs> I have to tell you, I was trying to find books and I couldn't find any because Allie had read all of the books that I read. <laughs> I know. I so like, I she, don't. She texted me and was like, I don't know what books you have read, and I sent her my Goodreads, and she's like, You've read all of them. <laughs> all the ones that she was gonna choose. So <laughs> there still one. I still, yeah, won. still won. I still won. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was enjoyable. <laughs> I had fun. This was so Yay. much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for letting us be here. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that's all. Time for me to make like a tree and leaf. Nature pages out. <laughs>